My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb, and we're joined by the whole Frog family. They got some love in the New York Times recently, so we figured they deserved it. Not all of them, though. One of them will die. Send us in a frog, but to add a frog, we got to kill a frog, so let us know which one you want to die. Uh Uh-oh, be careful. Tell me about the sports. Jim, in the sports world... Oh, Nikki Cass, 5K. Oh, you see this? In the sports world, Jim, the New York Mets have set a record. Everyone's talking pool jolts. Everyone's talking judgy. I'm talking New York Mets hit by pitch record, which you predicted, Jim, to start the season? It was simple math. We're a math pod. It was simple math. Here's the clip. The Mets are going to... Mets kill hit yeah, by pitch game. The Mets added a bunch of players that get hit by pitch a, a lot. Star Starring Marte. Starring Marte, Marcana. Marcana. Nimmo gets hit by pitches Alonzo a lot. Already got hit Alonzo a lot, gets hit by a lot. They were already pretty big hit by pitch league, and then they added a bunch of guys that get hit by pitches a lot. <laughs> ah! Jimmy, this almost a breakdown you've been telling the people about is very close to your heart and one of the themes of this episode. A mountain lion was laying underneath some wood, a floating log, they thought, maybe. Then they bumped it, got nervous, got scared, realized it was a swing, Jake, and then they just start, ah. Yeah. Oh, this oh. thing's swing. Very inquisitive, this yeah. mountain lion. And then does a, a double take in the middle, which I didn't. Yeah. I think that double take was like, oh, it's going to keep swinging? Right. Like this We're isn't going to stop. This? Like everyone was waiting for the mountain lion to then sit on to top get of the on swing. The swing, because it's a swing. So much so that I checked how much time was left in the video. And then when I realized, oh, yeah. this video is going to end before the mountain lion gets on the swing, it was a little dissatisfying. It is great, though. I mean, that waking up and playing with toys is kind of like the babies and they've got their toy thing that hangs over. I think we could have stumbled into a whole new product line here. Uh, like wake up games for adults. The way he wakes up and he's just hitting it's the a swing. Female. They are just hitting the swing. It looks nice. Like that's how I want to wake up. Open your mouth. Back to the sports, Jake. But first, tell him about your wiener. Jimmy Roman swipes. If you are prematurely ejaculating, you might want to try Roman swipes. Last four times longer. Should be a cool like you shorten it and then you put the two shortened. Things together for premature ejaculation, like pre is that what they call it? You can tell us about the more sports, Jim. We had a new infamous moment. Infamous happen this weekend. The butt punt, Jimmy. The Dolphins. You making a call? You didn't dial anything. I thought someone was calling me. Dolphins punter punts it into the up man. Uh, and right into his butt talks, and that'll live forever. People remember the butt fumble. This is the butt fump, fump, punt. I was at the butt fumble. Drunk as shit. No, on my way. Jake, who's to blame on this, in your opinion? The guy who gets hit in the butt or the punter? The punter didn't have a lot of room. You're trying to take this out on the, the up back. Yeah, if you watch... He's never trying to block someone. Right. He's just going to back up, back up, back up to the ball's punt and then be like, I did my job. Mm. And the punter's like, there wasn't that much room, kid. If I'm the punter, I think I'm I'm knowing it's a tight punt. We're pinned. I'm trying to make sure wherever I drop that ball, I can swing my leg. Oh, you think you're better than this guy? Yeah. I'd like to see his bruise. You would like that. I'd like to see the guy's bruise on his butt. If you got a bruise and it covers both butt cheeks, like it perfectly puts like... Oh, like a a, pattern. Almost like a heart on his lower both butt cheeks. I need to see that. I think that all athletes should have to show their bruise whenever they get bruises. Yeah. Legalized bruise showing. Jimmy, this not sports. Again, there's a theme to the episode, people. Keep up. It's mountain animals. And this time it's your mountain goats, Jim. They're evacuating mountain goats from the mountain... Because they're obsessed with human urine. Yeah, goats. Why don't you chill out? Let us pee. So all the hikers are peeing all the time. I'm hiking. I'm hiking. I have to pee. I just pee. The earth is my bathroom. I don't care about the environment. I'm feeding the goats. The goats are obsessed with drinking the urine because it's got salt and a bunch of stuff. So they're helicoptering these goats out of the area, putting them somewhere else where there's not human pee. They're taking 90% of the goat population, Jake. Which, by the way, the the helicopter part of this, it feels like they gave the parks guys like, hey, you know, you guys have access to a helicopter. And they're like, 
What? What would we do with that, possibly? I guess we'll excavate the goats, then. You think they dropped any by accident? <laughs> what about on purpose? Jim, I think I'm going to answer your question with one of these bullet points, because as we go on, we're like, okay, yeah, humans are peeing a lot, and the goats like it too much, so we're clearing them out. Sure, sure. The remaining 10% of the goats not removed will be dealt with via opportunistic ground and helicopter-based lethal removal. That's goat murder. You just get to 10,000 feet and you say, jump, goat. You think you can convince a goat to jump off of a helicopter? You just tickle their hind legs a little bit. That's pushing. And that's leaping. a push. No, I'm tickling. That's a push. That's, a, that's one of the lightest forms of pushing. I saw a bunch of goats in Paris once. Screaming. I was at Point de Hook. Army Rangers. <laughs> Now I have a nomination. Right. He might be sitting at this table. I'm going big dumb. You want to give one of these frogs the employee of the week? Nah, just one of the frogs. Big dumb. You think big dumb's the employee of the week? That's my nomination. I think it would keep the office in check pretty good. The frog got it over me? Yeah. All I did this week? Yeah. We did have some employees request employee of the week, which, which is, is the, the fastest way, way to not, not get, get it. Employee yeah. of yeah. the week. Big dumb would never request it, no. nor celebrate Too it. Too dumb. I like what we fell into earlier, that big dumb takes pictures with his aunt and his sister. Post it as if he's a ladies' man? Yeah. No, if this was Facebook 2008, Big Dumb takes a picture with Aunt Jan and is like, good night out. Like, this is his aunt? And they're like, yeah, man, we know. That's your aunt. And, and he's like, yeah, cousin. dude, it is my aunt. I'm not being fucking weird. And his, his pick is like the three of them? Yeah. He's got his arms wrapped around both of them. It was a family them. party. Yeah. Don't be weird about it, dude. Well, you told Joey you were dating both of them. I didn't. Joey's a fucking liar. I don't even talk to that guy anymore. What voices were those? That's Big Dumb. Employee of the Week. Employee of the Week. That was a Weekly Dumb! Today's episode was brought to you by your ineffective penis. Want it to work better? Go to Roman. Get Roman.com slash dumb 20% off. You can use the Roman swipes. They're safe, effective, no prescription is needed. They are guaranteed. To make you last longer in bed. In 2019, a study was done and it was proven that they increased time to orgasm by more than 4x. Try the swipes today with our special offer. GetRoman.com slash dumb for 20% off. That's GetRoman.com slash dumb for 20% off. Giving them all some shine. Since they got some shine in the New York Times. <sighs> and let's start. You want to start and the we'll show? start now. Let's start the show. Uh, yeah, we were a little nervous when they were doing the Times article because uh, they were focusing on the frogs and we were like, well, well, we like them, but maybe... Our thing. Maybe not a whole thing. If you could put that down. <laughs> oh, early death candidate. Oh, she could die. I have two that will not die. Well, one's already dead. One's already dead, so he can't die. Yeah, he can't die. <laughs> If we're being honest, loveless Lyle <laughs> is sprinting towards death. He's dead inside. He's dead inside. 